Bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today I am sharing something I've had a lot of requests for. So this is a all-natural, sulfate-free liquid shampoo. I'm calling it a rose and silk clarifying shampoo. And this shampoo was one of my final projects for my diploma in organic hair care formulation from Formula Botanica. When it comes to formulating liquid shampoos, I found the biggest challenge is creating something that leaves the hair feeling clean and lovely and not sort of overly stripped or dry or kind of chalky, but also, you know, it gets it clean. For this shampoo, I'm using a blend of two different surfactant products. So the primary surfactant is a blended product called Plantapon TF. The TF stands for tear free. And so this is a blend of some different non-ionic natural surfactants. And it also includes a refatting agent to help make the shampoo, you know, work really well, but not leave your hair feeling really like stripped and dry. Our other surfactant is amphoteric cocomidopropyl betaine, which helps boost flash foam and make the overall product even gentler. The rose part comes from some lovely rose hydrosol and the silk comes from some hydrolyzed silk. Since this is an all natural formulation that contains water, we do of course need to include a preservative and it needs to be natural. So I'm using a new to Humble Bee and Me preservative called GeoGuard ECT. If you don't have this preservative and would like to use a different one, please make sure you are reading the partner blog post. I've included some helpful links in the substitutions list at the end of the formulation. Making the shampoo is pretty easy. We do need a bit of time to just let it sit and hydrate so that the gelling agent can be its best self and do its work. And you will also need to test the pH to ensure that it is suitable. There's a lot more details on that in the blog post along with tons of other stuff like links to places to buy all the ingredients, information on substitutions and scaling. And yeah, definitely make sure you're reading the blog post. It's linked in the description box below. And before we dive in, I'd also like to note that enrollment is currently open at Formula Botanica for their individual courses. So if you would like to read my review of their Diploma of Organic Hair Care Formulation or their Diploma of Organic Skin Care Formulation, I have both of those diplomas from them, you can do that. I'll link to those in the description box below. All right, I think that is enough preamble. Let's go make this lovely shampoo. We'll begin by predispersing our thickening ingredient in some propanadiol. So this here is Silagel, which is a blend of a few different natural gums and thickening agents. So if you wanna learn more about it and figure out where to buy it, make sure you are looking it up on the blog uh, linked in the description box below. So we'll need 1.4 grams of Silagel and 3.5 grams of Propanadiol 1,3. And now we are going to whisk to combine and thoroughly distribute the gum in the Propanadiol. For our next four ingredients, we'll need 0.7 grams sodium lactate, 0.21 grams citric acid, 0.35 grams hydrolyzed silk. And make sure you are smelling your hydrolyzed silk first. Um, some of them smell really bad and some of them don't. So you might want to substitute it out if your smells really bad. And 0.35 grams panthenol or vitamin B5. And as always, for information on substitutions, make sure you're reading a blog post, which is linked in the description box below this video, or go to humblebeeandme.com and search for the name of this formulation and we're going to whisk to combine. Our next two ingredients are our surfactants. So we're going to need 14 grams of Plantapon TF, and the TF part is really important. There's an entire line of Plantapon products, and they are all different. And then seven grams of Cocomidopropyl Betaine. And then stir to combine, because we don't have much water in here. We have a bit of leeway to give this a fairly good stirring without working up too much lather. Grab the spatula here and scrape down the sides of the beaker so we can make sure that we've really got everything incorporated. You'll need 24.22 grams distilled water and 17 and a half grams rose hydrosol. Now that we have you know, water in here, uh, it's a lot easier to work up a bunch of bubbles. So give that a gentle stir here. The last two ingredients we will be incorporating are our natural preservative and our chelator. So in this little dish, I've already weighed out both. So the preservative is GeoGuard ECT. I've used 0.7 grams of this. And our chelator is tetrasodium glutamate diacetate at 0.07 grams. And this is from Essential Wholesale and it was a gift. So to incorporate, I'm going to pop a bit of the shampoo in here. 
give that a nice stir. Pour that back in the parent batch. Stir gently to combine. So our next step is testing the pH of the shampoo and adjusting if necessary. So I've got my trusty pH meter here. If you want details on the pH meter that I have, there is an entry on it in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. So please go look that up if you are wondering what it is and uh, any other associated questions about pH. I have uh, included links to learn more in that encyclopedia entry. So just rinsing it off there with a bit of distilled water then grabbing our scale here and we're going to prepare a 10% dilution. Tear the scale and we're going to weigh out two grams of the product and then add distilled water to a total of 20 grams. And if you're wondering why we do this, there is a link to an article about that in that encyclopedia entry about the pH meter. So we will whisk to combine, fire up the pH meter, and then give the bowl a little tilt, make sure that the sensor is fully activated, give it a little bit of a gentle stir in there and pop it in. So that's reading at 4.6, which is great. We're aiming for sort of a 4.5 to 5-ish range, both for hair health and for the preservative. The preservative actually has a pretty good pH range for a natural preservative. Part of the reason I chose that one, it's reasonably easy to work with. I'm just rinse that off, turned it off, and I'm gonna put it aside to let it dry a bit before popping it back in its storage solution. So our next step here is leaving the shampoo to hydrate. You can see it's still pretty thin. Uh, so it's, it's the Scylla gel that's gonna hydrate. The shampoo itself seems, you know, hydrous enough for sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just cover it with a bit of cling film. And we're going to leave that to hydrate. Um, overnight works really, really well, but generally speaking, you know, you'll come back and give it a stir and it'll be nice and thick and lovely. And then, you know, then it's thick enough. So I'm just gonna set this aside and I'll see you in a few hours. All right, so it's been about four hours. And this has thickened up really nicely. There we go. So all that's left now is packaging. For packaging, I'm going to use this two ounce Tottle from Voyager Soap and Candle. The one that you see in the blog post photos and in the thumbnail, that one is from Yellow Bee and that one was gifted. Uh, yeah, so this is thin enough that we can just pour it straight in. Uh, you could also pour the shampoo, you know, before it uh, thickens up completely, it's up to you. I just thought it would be a little bit easier to show you the viscosity if I let it thicken in, uh, in the beaker instead. And so here's the one that uh, you see on the blog and you can get a little bit better of an idea of the viscosity. So this one has actually been hanging out in the bottle for four months. So yeah, it's definitely, you know, reached its full viscosity. That Scylla gel isn't going to uh, do any more <laughs> thickening after, um, after four months. For a bit of a lather demo, I'm gonna pop a bit of distilled water in this beaker with the leftovers. Then we'll grab our milk frother and give this a buzz. So yeah, <laughs> you can see that's a pretty substantial amount of lather. It's very, very fine, very small little bubbles, quite a, a dense, opaque lather. But yeah, I find it does a, a beautiful job of cleansing my hair and yeah, feels leaves the hair feeling really, really nice and is just really quite decadent to use. And there we go. So we just made a really lovely rose and silk, sulfate free and all natural clarifying shampoo. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post for this formulation linked in the description box below. As always, you'll find lots of great information down there, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. You'll also find my full review of Formula Botanica's Diploma of Organic Hair Care Formulation course, which is what I created this shampoo for as part of my coursework and as one of my final projects. 
So yeah, definitely check that out if you are interested in natural hair care formulation. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.